What's going on, shady people? Shady Banger here. Welcome back to the next episode of our Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Let's Play. Today, we're going to be going ahead and going after this mermaid statue. We got our multicolored, well, no, it's just one color. It's a red tunic. We got a red tunic in the last episode, and we managed to progress through almost all of the trade sequence. Uh, not exactly all of it, but we got pretty close. Ow, you hurt me, a dingus. Uh, we got pretty close. And the last uh, couple steps to the trade sequence uh, is going to involve uh, getting over to this mermaid statue. Really, that's all it's gonna involve. If we can get to this mermaid statue, I think we should be, that statue right there. How do I get to that statue? Okay, let's jump in the water. We'll get a better view from the water at the very least. Oh, nothing fell from the tree. Oh, darn it. Oh, we got him. Oh, we got him. Got him. Anyone, Tim the Tatman? No, just kidding, me. Well, okay. Uh, we need to get over there. Oh, we need to go on that bridge. How do we get to that statue? It's probably super basic, but I feel like it's not. You could use your map, Shady. Yeah, I'll try that. I don't know. Oh. Mm, I think we need the we need another item. We can't do it yet. We can't do it yet. That's okay. We're here at the, the next dungeon anyway, in Martha's Bay. So we'll go ahead and just take care of that. Let's go ahead and, uh, can I fit in here? I should be able to, yeah, we're gonna dive. We're gonna dive right in. Okay, so now we're here, nice and doven, nice and doven. Uh, we should be able to come up right on the tongue or right near the tongue. We're, we're just, the tongue is gonna be our landing place for sure. Whoop. Okay, here we go. Martha's Bay, ha ah, yes, this evil looking fish. Level five, catfish's maw. That's right. We already got four of the four of the um four of the instruments. Let me just try shooting this in the eye. Nothing. Okay. I keep thinking that those those guys are gonna do something when they're in the eye. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so this should be the level where we get the item that I've been thinking of that we need to progress through the game, uh, and it's also the item we need in order to get over to that mermaid statue. So. Wow, we already get this in the, well, this is the, this, not already, it's the fifth dungeon. We're pretty, we're pretty deep in it at this point. We're pretty deep in it. Let's go ahead. Ooh, the music sounds so quiet in this one right now. Let's open up this chest and it's probably the compass. Aha, we can now see what chests and nightmares are hidden and you go doo 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 when we uh, get ourselves potential small key. Gotta do a little bit of this. Look at that, look at that. What a champion, what a, what, a, what an absolute mad lad. Ah! Okay, they reset after a little bit, which is unfortunate. Shh. Okay. I can't make that jump. Dash damage. All right, come up a little bit. You know, we should be able to do one of these, one of those, and bop! Nice. Clean, simple and easy. Ooh, our strength, there's a key in here. Luckily, yeah, I'm so glad I went with the red tunic, dude. Having these enemies that we kill in one shot as opposed to two is stellar. Stellar. I'm not too stressed about these rupees anymore. I'll grab them if I'm near them, but I'm not going to be running around for them because I do think we've done everything we can do in the game when it comes to rupees and like items to purchase. What is this about? Wow, this music's really good now all of a sudden. I'm pretty confused. Maybe I should try digging? Nothing. What? What could I possibly have to do? Bombs? We have 60 bombs! Oh my gosh! No, nothing with bombs? What do I do here? I'm like, I, I, I guess this is a room for later. We got our key. Yeah, we got our key. Let's just go. Let's go to a door. I guess that's that's got to be for later because I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing over there. That could give us a hint on what to do. So we got a keyhole here. Let's just go ahead and... Ooh, a defensive... Look at that! Yo, what if you get a piece of power? Oh, we did last time. 
Loki's power plus the red tunic is probably so strong if you can use that for a boss. Okay, it doesn't look like there's gonna be key in here. So no, blue, blue, blue rupee's different, bro. I'll grab a blue rupee. Blue rupees make me feel some type of way. Ow. Boom, nice and open. Ow. Ooh, bombs. That tells me that we, oh, piece of power. Well, we didn't get a diddle diddle ding in here, so I'm curious if anything's gonna happen. Oh, we are gonna see a chest, perhaps a map. I feel like there's a chance that one of, oh, one of these moves and we're supposed to center them or something. I really thought maybe, but I guess not. We have the stone beak. It is sharp, it is loud, and it is here. Uh, let's go ahead and jump up here. We'll check out this top room instead. I was hoping we'd get the map from there, but we did not. Ooh, arrows, nice, that's great. Oh, you guys see that? You see that bridge over there? The item that we get. Could just spoil it for you guys, but some of you guys have never played this game. I don't know if I can actually do this, I'm gonna try. I don't think you can. Oh, you can. It's just, you just gotta be, you just gotta cheat. You just gotta cheat a little bit and, oh, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, we need the item. We absolutely need the item. Like, yeah, we can get over here, but. Okay, well, let's go up north, shall we? Oh, I can't go up north. Wait, can I really not go up north? What the hashtag? I can't make this jump. Can I blow this pot up? Oh, can't do that. Can't do that. Okay, well, I feel rather stumped. There's gotta be something in one of these rooms then. For real. We, we don't have the map. Okay, the only other area it looks like we could potentially go is up over here, right? Yeah, we haven't gone over here yet. Let's go north. Sealed door, uh, but no key sound. Wait, what is the stone beak gonna say? If you can't destroy a skeleton with your sword, try using a bomb. I'm gonna equip all 60 of my bombs then. How about that? Ooh, is this already the mini boss? Hello, my name is Skelly Boss. Oh, no words. No words at all. Lower your guard. Lower your guard. It stinks because our damage isn't done via sword, so I don't think our tunic affects it at all. But hopefully it's just a three and done. Yeah, get out of here. He looks so diesel. Oh, he's not. I can't be beat by you. I am out of here. I can't beat you, rather. We already, we still have two fairies in battle. Oh, we're not even gonna actually. Oh, that had one green tile. That other room had four green tiles. So that's the fourth. Okay, I see what they just did. I'm picking up what they're putting down. Dungeon map? I've got what was inside this box. Come and get it if you can. Master. Okay, should I go up or should I go? I'm gonna go up before going down the stairs. Yeah, let's just do this first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow. Whew. They literally call me Mr. Dodge. Okay, we got some water ants to kill. I feel like I should dive here. Yeah, I knew it. We got the squids from Mario. And Goomba eyes. Bro, I love this game so much. Ah, oh, so riled. It's so good, cause so like, you guys know that I'm going to TwitchCon, actually for watching some already at TwitchCon. Shouldn't be here yet, don't need that item. But there is a key in there, so that's good to know. So today I get to sit down and record like five episodes of this game and that gets me riled. I've been like crushing Skyward Sword on Patreon. So I have that all squared away and good to go. So I, I, I kind of prioritize Patreon stuff uh, since people are like, I, I feel like I, I need to make sure I give value over there because people are supporting financially. But I should be able to pretty easily get all five videos done that I need for while I'm gone as well. So there should be no missing content. And honestly, the biggest reason why that's so plausible for me right now is because like I'm playing Zelda games and they're just like, Right in my wheelhouse. It feels so easy to be sitting here and playing Zelda, even though I'm clearly getting hit over and over and over again. Uh, you know, before we do anything else, let's just do this. Let's just open this door. Let's go step in here, see what we got. 
Oh, this is door room number two with two green tiles. This was the right decision. You found me. You're a real pesky kid, you know that. Here we go. We charge the blade up real nice. Charge the blade up real nice. Oh boy. Doesn't really matter about charging the blade up considering uh, the blade isn't the one doing the damage, but you know what? It's whatever. It makes sure, it, it feels like I'm, gonna, I'm guaranteed to hit him a little better. There we go. Three and done. I'm waiting by the door. I'm waiting by the door. I can't beat you. I'm out the here. Here we go. No fairy for me yet? No fairy for me yet. I don't know if he's the, the big bad of this. Like, I don't know if he's the nightmare nightmare or if he's just the, the midmare. The daymare. These enemies are kind of a pain, man. Ooh, there's hearts over there. Okay, here we go. Ow. Ow. I did destroy the slime over there, so the gate should open up. I guess not. Let's see what happens if I put a bomb right there. Yes! Woo! Big brains, bro. And here's number three. Wow, we literally did this in the best possible. That was in I'm so glad I went over there. I am so glad it went over there. Made this super smooth. Here we go. That's one. Easy mode. Me too. That's two. Me one more. And then... Here we go. Three. Boom. Please give me the teleporter from this room. That would be so good. I can't beat you. I'm out of here. Well, I'm really glad I noticed the tile coloring. Because now, like, I'm... I can go forward because there's a chest over here, but if it's the end of the room, if it's the end of the road, that's fine because we know where the we know where to go. We already found the room with four green tiles. We got ourselves the dungeon map at last. You have the map. Very nice, Link. Finding that map at last. Uh, let's go. Let's backtrack all the way to the four square room. I think we can actually do a little bit of this. Yeah, buddy. Shortcuts 101, big boys. Uh, was it in the water? No, it wasn't in the water. The water brought us to a treasure chest with the, probably the Nightmare's key. It has some sort of key over there. We gotta go back down here. And I think it's... We've never gone down these stairs yet, right? Well, we're gonna save that because I feel like if we haven't gone down the stairs, we've already fought him three times. I'm sure the fourth one will be the charm, right? It's gotta be. And we found the fourth one before we even found him once. Which is pretty spicy, if you ask me. Yeah, it was right over here. Luckily, these doors stayed open even though the enemies respawned. That's very sweet of you, video game. Oh, this wasn't over here. Where was it? Where was it? Uh... Wasn't over there. Dang, I should have, like, marked it. It's somewhere we've been... Oh, wait, 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 wait. One, two, three. It was over here, so we had to take steps. We did have to take steps to get there. So let's see. Uh, this is the wrong way already. This is the wrong way already. So let's just for pretend that we didn't do that yet. There's no reason for us to be going the wrong way. Where would there be steps? There's steps down here. We got to it very early, so I think it was. I think it's gonna be back here. I didn't want to get hit. Oh, give me the heart. Sweet, thank you. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Yeah, it was this. This was it. Yup, 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 yup. This is like the first thing we did, and this is definitely where it was. Boom! Don't even need that last one, honestly. Okay, we just gotta go through here. I was hoping for a heart or two, but it's fine. No big deal, bro. No big deal. Here it is! Four green tiles. Well, he doesn't even say anything this time. Wow, he just hopped. He got me good with that. I was pretty, uh, pretty professional. That quick hop, he's getting fed up. Uh, but now he's back to his old ways. Back to his old ways. And there we go. Three, 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 12 hits. Honestly, pretty large amount of hits for a Zelda boss to take. Oh, what's that? We have ourselves the hook shot. It's chain stretches long when you use it. That's right, the hook shot, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure some of you guys knew that this was coming. I'm sure most of you guys did. Regardless, 
It is here. And I am excited. Because this is what's going to allow us to, I'm pretty sure, have free reign over the island. I'm pretty sure once we have the hook shot, we can proceed to go just about anywhere. And we can also stun enemies or rip their masks off. And they're so cute with no mask. They're like, they're like horizontal char Charmanders. Oh my gosh, I love it. Anyone want to drop a, drop a heart? No, no hearts? Cool. Well, we can go back here, grab this chest. So this allows us to, to go ahead and hook shot over to things like chests, wooden blocks. Uh, for example, bam, right there at a very quick speed. So it helps movement and it helps accessibility of areas. So we just need to go ahead and crush some previously visited rooms. Uh, for example, this one right up here. We go ahead and go over here. We should be able to just scoop over there instead of having to damage boost our way over. This is gonna be a key. I'm assuming, actually it could be a small key. It is a small key. Mm, like I said, it could be a small key. We didn't get a fairy for uh, that guy and that makes me sad because I kind of wanted a fairy. Let's go ahead and head through this here. Uh, we can hook shot our way over here again. It's so weird because in Skyward Sword that I'm playing through right now on Patreon, uh, you get the claw shot, not the hook shot. And I've always wanted to say hook shot, but it's, it's claw shot. Oh, there's a fairy, nice. But now I can actually say, oh, wait a minute, before we do this, uh, we should definitely, 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 definitely go back. Because there was somewhere else that we explored. Mm, I guess we won't go back. Let's not go back yet. I always think we should definitely go back. Oh boy, what are these? I think I need my bow and arrow for this. Oh no, you can probably just use your claw shot. Come on, I'm, atta I'm, I'm attack boosted, man. I'm, I'm attack boosted. Oh, so sometimes they charge forward instead. Like this guy, he keeps his eye closed and he charges forward. I don't like that. I love the way these enemies look though. There you go. If I do some spin attacks on this guy. Woo! Coming all the way up. Uh, there's no point in doing spin attacks. Cause it's just two stuns and I don't think the spin attacks with how long they take, it's not gonna go ahead and actually make it much quicker. So we'll just go for the stun with the hook shot. I didn't move at all. There was no wincing. Your eye didn't move at all. There you go. There's that wince. I'd rather just take the, the one damage. I think maybe if I, if you charge the first one as a spin attack, you can probably get away with, with doing that. So now we have a way to go back to the beginning, which really isn't going to be that much quicker. But we'll check what's over here. We got to go back to that pool of water, essentially is what I want to do. Because in that pool of water was a key, some sort of key we could get. Oh, I see. Yeah, I saw that just later than I should have. Let's see, hopefully this doesn't lead to the nightmares place. Oh, we need another key. So we do have to backtrack. Fun, 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 fun times. Unless one of these Goombas have the key. They doubt it, because no, we would have heard a dot, 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 dot. We would have heard the sounds of many sounds. I'm assuming I can push one of these because I don't think we have to be able to push one of them actually. Yeah. I'll grab this arrow. And we'll step through this door right here. Grab those arrows. I'll take this heart. Keep it full. Keep it full hearts. Uh, where was that pond that we dove into? It was up north. charge through these. I can charge through those jelly squishes, but not crystals. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. Okay, we've never gone down these stairs yet, so you know what? No time like the present, now that we have the claw shot. Nice. I like this little jump quest they give you. Very nice. Ooh. DiMaggio, dude. Okay, we're just getting beamed right now. I wonder what that owl says, but we'll check on the way back. Ooh, oh, this is the way to go to the nightmare. Okay. Oh, that is, that's literally the nightmare. So what, why, what's the point of coming over here? I guess it's just to learn. It's just to show you. 
I guarantee you this owl is going to say something about diving. Diving in the water. Dive under where torchlight beams do cross. Yep. Look at... I'm just... I remember things from a childhood sometimes. It's funny because, honestly, my memory of my childhood is really not good. But apparently with video games, uh, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Because I remember a lot when it comes to this game. Like I said, this is my first Zelda game. This is the game that got me into the franchise uh, from playing. Uh, I played this before I played a, a Link to the Past. And uh, man, just super, super love it. Just fell in love with Zelda so quickly thanks to this game. And that was back when you had to like, you you had to equip your everything. Power bracelet, equip. Pegasus boots, equip. So it was obnoxious, but you know what? I loved it. I really did. Give me that bridge. Thank you. Let me guess. Oh! Wait a minute. Even if this is the nightmare key, we still need another small key. This is the nightmare key. But we still need another small key. Oh, we got a bunch of chests we can open up. Oh, that's right, because we got the hook shot. This is fine. This is fine. Look at these little flippers. They're absolutely adorable. I love that the flippers give me the ability to breathe underwater. It's just so nice, and it's so logical. Shady, it's a game with magic, and it doesn't need to be logical. You're not wrong. You're actually 100% correct. I agree with you wholeheartedly. I don't play video games for strict logic. If I did, I wouldn't be playing video games. I'd be playing chess. Or Diddlywinks, because it's a very strategic, logical-based game. I think it's going to be rupees, because we didn't hear a diddle diddle ding it is 50 rupees. Very nice. Give me this bridge. Give me these hearts. Still no diddle diddle ding Some more rupees. But we need another chest. Like this one. Like one that did it a dings and gives me a small key. So we now have all the keys we need to access the boss. This was like the longest dungeon so far. Which makes sense because it's the, you know, the latest one. Dungeon should get progressively longer slash harder. And, uh, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining that this was the longest one so far. Okay, so now the question is, how are we getting back to the Nightmare's Lair? Um, which stairs took us there is the question. I wish I, I wish I, sh I should have marked it. We've been in every room. This says, yeah, this has a yellow dot on it. Oh, was it the one that I skipped? One that was just like in a room. It was just straight up in a room. I think it was this one right here. I think if we go back a little bit, I think that's what it was. Ow. Quit stabbing me. Ow. Oh my goodness. Pretty sure. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just remembered something. I thought. I really believe that one of these walls is explosive. I could totally be remembering a different dungeon. Um, but I have to check. Yeah, I'm remembering a different dungeon. Never mind. Dang. Ah, fiddly sticks. Well, whatever dungeon that is, I think I missed I think I missed that explosive wall. So it just came back into my brain space right now, and I'm pretty sure wait. No. I'm pretty sure that we missed it. There's no secret yeah, there's no secret rooms that we're missing right now. Well, I don't know if they'd show on the map if they were secret. It's a good question. Very good question. I don't think they would. These were the steps I was thinking of. These right here. Hey, those fish didn't even get time to jump. The little, little gobstoppers. Coming over your head, getting hit, that's fine. Take the heart if you want to give it to me. No, thank you. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, this is the wrong way. Oh, well, that's rewarding. Thank you, video game. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> ah, it's funny that the bow and arrow comes in after the claw shot or hook shot rather. Considering uh, we got the bow and arrow super early. So you're the outsider. Come to wake the wind fish. I shall eat you. I don't remember this boss. Oh, I remember this boss now. Uh, I don't remember. He wants to munch. I don't know if we use bombs on him or. 
It's a sideways mouth. Oh, it's just a, it's a slime eel. Okay. I think I remember what I have to do. I don't remember what I have to do. I don't remember what I have to do. <laughs> Three. Okay. I wonder if I could have got him out again and again. It's cool, because when you pull, pull him, his, his tail goes still, because like you're pulling his whole body. Yes, the red tunic. You don't seem to know what kind of island this is. Yeah. What a fool. <laughs> He's honestly right, by the way. I'm a foolish little link that washed the shore, and I don't care what kind of island this is. It is, is it an island like lost? Like I could have, I could get magical powers if I don't make the wind fish or what? You could tell me, I'll keep it secret. I'll keep it safe. Here we go. Ooh, our second row of hearts. Oh, the xylophone. Isn't that a xylophone? You got the wind marimba. It's like the same thing, it's a xylophone. That is not a xylophone. That is not a xylophone at all. Wow, I love it. Shrine. The island secret in the shrine. Well, that is pretty suspicious. What shrine? The island's secret in the shrine. What shrine? Well, let's take a look at our map. I'm trying to think, the only the only thing I can think that would count as a shrine is where we got the ocarina from. That sleepy time place. Okay, now that we have the claw shot, though, uh, what time is it? We got we got we got we got time. We got time to at least get make our way over to the over to the statue. You know, we're gonna have to at some point in time. Uh, I don't know when we're gonna do it because I don't want to do it right before the end of the game. I kind of like since we have the red tunic. If we can get the busted sword, that would be so great. Uh, I want to kind of go across the land square by square, looking for secret shells and anything we may be missing. It's gonna be like super obnoxious, I guess, but it's something I want to do. So there, you can't stop me. Okay, here we go. We have a mermaid scale, and here's a mermaid statue. You put the missing scale in the mermaid statue. Ooh, it moves. Spoopy. Ow. Just gonna jump, because we got stopped. Look at this shiny little thing. You got the magnifying lens. This will reveal many things you couldn't see before. Ooh. So now things are just, oh, wait. Remember those two houses we went to and we couldn't see things? Oh yeah. Okay, where was, I remember one was by the beach, but there was somewhere else. Was it Animal Village? I don't know if it was Animal Village or not. But ooh, so these enemies, we couldn't, whoa, we could not see these enemies before. Now we can see them. Wowzers. So many things. I wonder how many things are many things. Well, no matter what, let's do this. Let's, was it Animal Village where we, remember we, we heard sounds and we were trying to find things? Or was it a different house? We can access this house now because we have the claw shot. We've never been up here to the wind. Oh, we should go check that out soon. Uh, so this area of the map we haven't done, this area of the map we've done, and this whole entire thing, which I don't even know how we get here. I guess right up here, we just gotta come up here and make a right. Okay, let's go to Animal Village for now. Maybe the shrine's over there. Let's go to Animal Village. Really quick. Cause I feel like it was one of these houses that we walked in. That we saw nothing. No, this is Bear Boy. I could be wrong. But I remember walking into two different houses. Oh look, she moved here. Yahoo, a new broom superb. Was, it was this one. Hey, you can see me. You must have a magnifying glass. I'm not a troublemaker. I just want to live in peace. I'll give you this if you promise to keep your mouth shut. Ooh, it's a secret shell. Okay, you found a secret seashell. Nice. 
Uh, while we're here, though, there is another thing I'd like to check out. A promise is a promise, okay? Hey, you should head out to the cave at Torinbo Shores. Use the magnifying glass, magnifying glass there and you'll find someone else like me. So Zoras can camouflage themselves. I mean, it kind of makes sense in the water and whatnot. So I remember in this village, there was, uh, there was something up here. Yeah, we're gonna have to go square by square on the map and check out. I guess, I guess I would want to do it once we have all the items. I really think the claw shot is the last item for accessibility things. Might even be the last item in the game. Uh, from like dungeons and stuff. Cause oh, wait, there's so many different things now we can, with the claw shot, there's so many different heart pieces that are available to us. We definitely have to go square by square. Oh yeah, this was, I remember we have to do here. Okay. We have to go ahead and blow up this rock first. First, let's get rid of this little Kabuto. Goodbye. Now bats. 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 Slime, slime, slime me. Go ahead and do this. Pick this up. Throw it over here. That'll blow up, hopefully. Because it did bounce off. Like a There we go, nice and rigid. Nice and rigid. Oh, we're gonna... We're like, we're not gonna beat this game before. I'm not gonna beat this game before I go away, unfortunately. I would love to finish it, but I don't think I, I don't think I have that much. I think it's gonna take longer than five episodes. I would say we probably have another 10-ish episodes in this series. And this was like, ugh, such a breath of fresh air, man. Here we go! You got four pieces of heart. Your maximum number of hearts increased and your health has been filled too. Bam! And there are so many more heart pieces available for us now that we have the claw shot. So many, I can't even like, I really can't remember them all, which is why I'm gonna have to go square by square one day and just search all along the island. I don't know when we'll do that. It might be soon, but I think I'm gonna wrap this episode up here. Uh, and in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and head to the beach because that Zora said, let's go to the beach and use the magnifying glass. We'll find someone else like him there. So we're gonna do that. I remember hearing noises when we went there. So it looks like you could, this is the quickest way to get there. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to show some shady loves that thumbs up down below. Have yourselves a fantastic day, but above all else, keep it shady.